Ms. Leslie, back to you. All right, Ryan, thank you. Also tonight, attacking the high cost of prescription drugs. That is the latest consumer effort being undertaken by U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal. He says the goal is to make more life-saving drugs within reach. Political reporter Max Reese is here with that story. Max. Leslie, the goal here is simple. Try to control the skyrocketing cost of prescription pharmaceuticals and make sure they're available when people need them. Lisa Reisman describes herself as being lucky to be alive. She recently celebrated 20 years of being cancer free, faced with a terminal brain cancer diagnosis. I was pouring every ounce of energy into fighting for my life. I can't imagine, in addition to all that, facing the impossible, excruciating choice between paying $768 for a capsule or being able to afford groceries and rent. U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal is proposing that Congress take action, like mandating that drug companies justify cost increases to individual drugs to the federal government, possibly even reimburse some customers. It affects not only individual consumers and patients, because they're paying higher premiums, but also small and medium-sized businesses that are price gouged just like the rest of us. Pharmacy professionals say they have had to deal with drug shortages in the past, even for some life-saving chemo medications. They say in the case of corporate transactions, drug costs should not change because the manufacturer has a new parent company. There's no research and development taking place. In, in my opinion, it's really unjustifiable to have you know, rises at, at the percentages that we're seeing uh, with, with medications like this. Nothing is going to happen in the short term. This bill, known as the CURE Act, is for the next Congress, meaning Senator Blumenthal would need to get some Republican support to place new mandates on drug companies. Max Reese, NBC, Connecticut News. My